electron and hole concentration or holes in an intrinsic semiconductor. As we know, intrinsic semiconductor are semiconductor material which are in pure form. That is, there is no any kind of doping or impurity in semiconductor. So generally, the widely used semiconductor materials are silicon and germanium. As we know that the conductivity of any semiconductor crystal is directly proportional to n which are number of free electrons. So the conductivity if we represent conductivity by a term sigma is directly proportional to n. As we know sigma is equal to rho mu and this one equal to n q mu where n is equal to number of free electrons, q is the charge of electrons and mu are the movability of electrons or holes. So we can say that sigma is directly proportional to number of free electrons available inside the semiconductor. So we know for the, for the good conductor or for the conductor n, n is approximately equal to 10 to the power 28 electrons per meter cube. So n is very large for good conductor and for insulator n is approximately equal to 10 to the power 7 electron per meter cube and it is relatively very small compared to conductor and for semiconductor the number of electrons or the value of small n is lie between in these two values. The valence electron in semiconductor are not free to wander as they are in metal because they are trapped in a bond between adjacent ions and these bonding are called covalent bond. So germanium and silicon crystal structure are regular repetition of a unit cell having the form of tetrahedral in three dimension. So the atomic number for germanium is 32 and the atomic number of silicon is 14 and the outer outermost orbit have four electrons and silicon also have a four electron in outermost orbit so total number of electrons available for bonding in case of germanium and silicon are four so when germanium or silicon are in the form of crystal we can so the we can show the condition in two dimension so if it is a germanium atom which have four four electrons so it is also germanium atom it is also germanium atom and it is also germanium atom which have four valence electron it is also a germanium atom which have four valence electron so outer orbit have four electrons so this germanium atom will make a bonding with neighboring atom so this is a bond this is also a bond and this is also a bond this one is bond and this type of bonding is called covalent bond so generally the valence electron in germanium and silicon case are bounded with adjacent atom or ion so generally at low temperature crystal has a low conductivity at low temperature crystal have low conductivity at low temperature semiconductor are insulator 
or are behave like an insulator since there are no free carrier is available however at room temperature or whenever the temperature is rise some of the covalent bonding will be broken because of thermal energy supplied to the crystal and conduction is made possible whenever co covalent bond is break this electron will free and there is a vacant place here so this is the free electron and this empty place of electron is called hole so the energy eg required to break such a covalent bond is 0.72 electron volt for germanium and eg equal to 1.1 electron volt for silicon so for the semiconductor the charge carrier available for conductivity is either electrons or holes so in a pure semiconductor or in intrinsic semiconductor the number of holes is equal to the number of free electrons in case of pure semiconductor number of holes equal to number of free electrons so uh, if we supply a thermal energy or if we increase the temperature of crystal it continues to produce new electron and hole pair whereas other electron hole pair disappear as a result of recombination so the hole concentration p must equal the electron concentration and for intrinsic semiconductor n equal to p equal to ni and where ni is called intrinsic concentration donor and acceptor impurity in semiconductor so intrinsic semiconductors are silicon or germanium and if we add any impurity in intrinsic semiconductor it gives extrinsic semiconductor so these are silicon or germanium etc and the impurity atom or the impurity can be either donor type or acceptor type and second is acceptor so if we add any kind of impurity in intrinsic semiconductor then it give a extrinsic semiconductor and the impurity can be two type either the donor type or the acceptor type so first we will talk about the donor type of impurity after adding the donor impurity in intrinsic semiconductor it will give a n type semiconductor normally the donor impurity are the impurity atoms which have five electron in outermost orbit so these types of impurity are also called pentavalent impurities so pentavalent impurities have total five electron in outermost orbit so generally the four electron will bond to the four valence electron of intrinsic semiconductor and one electron will be free to move anywhere in the crystal so the type of pent pentavalent impurities are antimony phosphorus and arsenic so i think it is clear that what is donor type of impurity in semiconductor so one free electron is available to move inside the crystal and the energy required to detach this fifth electron from atom is only 0.01 electron volt for germanium and 0.05 electron volt for silicon so in short if we see that these types of impurity donate a electron carrier and therefore it is referred to as donor or n type impurity so whenever we add a donor impurity in the semiconductor then there exist a allowable energy level just below the conduction band so if we will see the energy band diagram of n type semiconductor we know that we show 
a valence band and conduction band in energy band diagram this is conduction band so this is the energy band diagram of there will be a allowable energy state just below the conduction band this is show by this dash horizontal line this is represented by ed this is represented by ec and this is represented by ev and the gap between cb and vb is eg so in this axis it is energy so in energy band diagram of n type semiconductor there is a additional energy state just below the conduction band and the this distance is 0.01 electron volt in case of germanium and 0.05 electron volt in case of silicon if we doped a intrinsic semiconductor with n type of impurity then the number of not only the number of electrons will increase but also the number of holes will decrease this is because with the addition of p type impurity there will increment in the sorry, number of free electrons so if the number of free electrons will be increased so there is a probability more probability of recombination of electron and holes and it will simply reduce the number of holes present in extrinsic semiconductor so the next topic is acceptor whenever a trivalent impurity added in intrinsic semiconductor it gave a p type semiconductor so the common example of trivalent impurity or trivalent atoms are boron gallium or indium so trivalent impurity plus intrinsic semiconductor gives p type semiconductor so the trivalent impurity or the trivalent atom indicate that the outermost orbit of these atoms are three only so we will see from this diagram that whenever a trivalent impurity for example we took a example of indium which is indicated by in so whenever the trivalent impurity added with germanium crystal so that the three outermost electrons of indium will make a covalent bond with adjacent germanium atom and the fourth bond this one there will remain a vacant place which act as a positive particle and it is called as a hole so the vacancy of electron or the hole also act as a charge carrier in semiconductor because the vacant place or the hole will act as a center of attraction for the electron so this is the vacant place and it will more positive compared to the electron so this vacant place will attract the electron from adjacent covalent bond so this movement of hole will gives a carrier will gives a current and it will enhance the conductivity of semiconductor so for p type semiconductor the majority charge carrier is hole and it is positive charge carrier so the addition of impurity or the acceptor enhance the conductivity of semiconductor so or for example if a donor type impurity is added to one part one part of impurity in 10 to the power 8 atom of germanium it will enhance the conductivity of germanium at 30 degree celsius by a factor of 12 so only a one part of impurity 
in 10 to the power 8 germanium atom will enhance the conductivity of germanium by a factor multiplied by 12 at 30 degree celsius so we if we see what will be the effect of p type impurity or accepted type of impurity in energy band diagram we can find out that a additional allowable energy level will add just above the valence band so the energy band diagram of p type semiconductor is this is the valence band and the conduction band the energy difference between this is defined by e g or energy gap so by adding a acceptor impurity in semiconductor it will add a allowable energy level just above the valence band and this is represented by acceptor energy level or ea this one is ec and this one is ev